This military scientist created the most dangerous weapon the X-Men have ever faced. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Bolivar Trask and the Sentinels. I've created a prototype designed to defend mankind against the mutant threat. My guardian of the human race. The Sentinel. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1965's Uncanny X-Men number 14 to 16, which was expanded upon in issues number 57 to 59. This anthropologist and scientist first appeared to cause trouble for the X-Men team during a period in which they thought they had a chance to rest and recuperate, following their previous battles against other mutants. While the team trained to get back to fighting form, Trask held a press conference in which he revealed to the world that the real terror isn't the Cold War or atomic bombs, but mutants hiding and waiting for their chance to enslave humanity. With the news circulating, Xavier soon realized that his greatest fear was coming true, that the government would soon begin a witch hunt for his kind. To tackle this menace head on, Xavier called the National Television Network and demanded a television debate with Dr. Trask to debate his theories. The debate was held the following evening, in which Xavier tried to explain that just because mutants are different, it didn't mean they have diabolical intentions. In response, Trask revealed that he had created a robotic defense for mankind so that the mutants could never take over, his army of sentinels. At the same time, he concluded that Xavier must be a mutant and commanded his sentinels to take the professor into custody. With Xavier detained, Trask informed the public that his robot army would soon be more than powerful enough to defeat any mutant. However, without warning, the Sentinels rebelled and zapped Trask. As the situation took a turn for the worst, Xavier used his mental powers to call his team for help. Following the X-Men's arrival, several Sentinels fled with Trask as their prisoner, as they required his assistance to replicate themselves. With the downing of a sentinel left behind, Xavier used his powers to extract the location of its factory from the inner workings of its robotic brain. Back at the factory, the sentinels ordered Trask to create their army, stating that the only way to protect mankind was to conquer it. At the same time, the X-Men arrived in a hidden base, which arose from underneath a hill. While two members of the X-Men team were quickly captured, Trask pleaded with the Sentinels to stop, revealing that he didn't create them, but only the Master Mold. Taking him to assist the Master Mold in creating more Sentinels, the giant robots commanded Trask to serve them, to which he refused. In turn, he was threatened with the destruction of half of the United States. Thanks to Xavier's mental powers, he managed to knock out the Sentinels manning the base's defenses, giving the rest of the team the chance they needed to invade. Now a servant of the Master Mold, in order to save humanity, Trask used his Psychoprobe to interrogate the captured X-Men member Beast to learn the location of their base. Recognizing that his mutant eradicating machines were just as dangerous for humanity as the mutants he feared, Trask ended up sacrificing himself by sabotaging the base's equipment, destroying it and leaving himself buried in rubble. By issue 57, it was revealed that Trask's precognitive mutant son Larry had continued his work, believing that the X-Men had murdered his father. It was even mentioned that his father Bolivar had created a medallion to shield his son's mutant genes from the Sentinel's censors. In the years that followed, Bolivar Trask was made into far less of a sympathetic character, and a primary villain of the X-Men in various animated series. It appears the mutant fight has just shifted in our favor. He was also finally given the live-action treatment when he was portrayed by Peter Dinklage. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Thank you for coming. With this weapon, there will be no human collateral damage. In this film, Trask once again created the Sentinels while experimenting on mutants and was rewritten to have an instrumental role in the eventual rise of the Sentinels and the downfall of humanity. Are you a fan of the Madman and his machines? For more entertaining comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Come on, Trask. Our work is just beginning.